Are you ready? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you about the shoes of gospel readiness. Yeah, the Bible says that we should have our feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Yeah, and as you guys know, I made this armor out of cardboard to kind of illustrate the armor of God, but you know, the armor of God, again, it's not physical armor. It's not made of steel or iron or, again, certainly not cardboard, but this is just sort of a fun visual reminder. But you haven't seen my shoes yet. Now, I gotta admit, these shoes are super uncomfortable because the real shoes like the ones that I made are supposed to be made out of leather, but I made mine out of cardboard, so they're really itchy. But uh, let, let me take one off and show you what I got here. It, it's kind of tricky, though, to get off, so just give me, give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Now, that doesn't really look like a shoe, does it? But it is. Actually, I kind of designed this shoe after the kind of shoes that the Roman soldiers wore. And for Roman soldiers, their shoes were super important. And the way that they designed them were so that they could, you know, be strong and sturdy, but also they'd be really airy. So if they walked through mud or water or stuff, it wouldn't hurt their feet. Their feet could dry off while they were still wearing them. And even though mine are super uncomfortable because I made them out of cardboard, they were pretty comfortable for the Roman soldiers. But yeah, I'm actually going to take, I'm actually going to take my other one off too, because these are super uncomfy. Okay, so as I was saying, the shoes for a Roman soldier were super important. It meant that they weren't going to cut their feet if they stepped on something sharp, and they could walk for a long, long time without getting blisters or without their feet getting all messed up. Their shoes weren't really designed to protect them, you know, from the top. They weren't designed to protect them from like a sword or a spear or something. They were designed to help them move quickly and safely. And for Roman soldiers, they wore their armor like all the time. Even if they were building something, you know, like they built a lot of roads, they still wore their armor all the time. Because if there was somebody who were to pop up out of the bushes and start attacking them, that's not the time to start putting your armor on. And I'm calling these shoes the, the shoes of gospel readiness. You know, in the Bible, in Ephesians, where it's talking about the armor of God, it says, having your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, which is kind of a mouthful. But basically, it's saying that you need to be ready at all times to share your faith. You know, not everybody likes snow, but I, I really do. And again, not everybody has snow where they live, but for me, every winter it snows kind of a lot sometimes, and I love to go sledding. Yeah, we've got this, this big hill in my neighborhood, and my, my friends and I, we, we take our sleds out there and we slide down the hill, and it's so much fun. But it kind of takes a while to get all the gear necessary to go sledding, right? You know, you got your snow pants and you got your, your coat and you got your hat and you got your scarf and your gloves and your boots. And my winter boots are kind of weird because they've got like these weird kind of hook things on the side. So it takes a long time to lace them up. And I actually didn't even realize how long it took me to get ready to go sledding until one day my friends, they, they told me they were going to be able to go sledding the next day. And so on the day that we were going to go sledding, I waited for them, but I, I didn't know exactly what time they were going to come. And so I just waited to put my snow stuff on until they got there. Well, my friends all showed up and they were all in their snow gear. And they said, okay, Douglas, time to go sledding. And I went to go put on my snow stuff and it took me forever. And actually my friends finally, they just got tired of waiting for me and they went and they, they went sledding before me and, and I, I was kind of late. I actually didn't even get to sled that long. You know, I only got to go like one or two times because I spent all the time getting ready when it was time to go. Now what I should have done is I should have just put on my snow stuff and hung out on my front porch, right? If I put on my snow stuff and stayed inside, it would have been too hot. But I could have put on my snow stuff and gone out on the front porch and waited for them. That way, if they showed up, I could just be like, okay, let's go. And go right there instead of taking like a half hour to get ready. And, you know, for all of the armor of God, it's important for us to not try to put it on right when we need it. Right? Because the truth is, you don't know exactly when you're going to need it. So you really need it all the time. And it's really important for us as Christians to share the gospel of peace. To share the gospel of Jesus Christ. The good news of Jesus. And I don't know if you've ever tried sharing your faith before, but sometimes it can be kind of hard. And I think it's important to, to kind of have an idea of what you're going to do before you go do it. It's better to, to know what you're going to say than to be like, uh, what do I do? I don't know. You've got to be ready to share your faith at all times. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would fit your feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. That you would know what you believe and why you believe it so that you can share that with other people. And not just with the, the shoes of gospel readiness, but with all of the armor of God, that you would be ready at all times to 
fight against the spiritual forces of evil, that you would always be ready to give a defense for the hope that's in you. Because the time to prepare for a spiritual battle is not later, it's now. Now is the time to prepare. Read your Bible. Ask your parents or your teachers or, or your pastor about how you can better share the gospel with people. Have your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you liked this shoe, because this thing was this thing was super itchy. And again, it's important to remember that the armor of God is not physical, it's spiritual. It helps protect us in our spiritual battle against the spiritual forces of evil. So that's like Satan and demons and, and all the plans that they've got for you. Because yeah, Satan's got plans, and he really wants to mess you up. And that's why it's so important for us to be prepared at all times. Yeah, and you know, I'm not talking about like a physical fight. I'm talking about a spiritual fight. So for example, if you have an opportunity to share your faith, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, the way you fight is sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And I'm not saying it's easy to share your faith. It can be hard. And that's why we need to prepare. So I really hope that you will and that you will have your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace.